Chairman. Please join me in congratulating the Deputy Governor of Lagos State for her address on behalf of the Governor of Lagos State. And welcome once again. It is always a great deal of pressure for me to welcome the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Yoshibajo, SAN, GCON. Today, he is representing President Mohamed Buhari, who is paying an official visit to Lagos State. And this is one of the more important projects that he would have been here to commission. This, of course, is his state, and it's with great pleasure that we all welcome him once again to come and make an address to you all on the start of this historic project. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Professor Yemi Oshibajo, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. Please sit. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Idiot Olonati Adebule, representing uh, His Excellency, the Governor of the State, the distinguished Senator Benga Shafa, representing the Lagos East uh, Senatorial District, and I might mention that Senator Shafa was secretary uh, to uh, the uh, Land Use Committee of Lagos State at the time when this land was given to this project. So he's here also uh, to see the fruition of that very important act. The Honorable Minister of Transport, the Right Honorable Rotimi Amichi, the Honorable Minister of Trade and Investments, Mr. Dr. Oke Enelama, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Transport, Mr. Sabiu Zakari. Chairman, Nigerian Ports Authority, Mr. Emmanuel Adeboye. The Managing Director, Nigerian Ports Authority, Hadiza Bala Usman. The Chairman of the uh, Tolerant Group, Mr. Mohan Baswani. And the Managing Director of the Tolerant Group, Africa, Mr. Haresh Aswani. Vaswani. The chairman of China Harbor, Mr. Y.C. Lin, heads of government agencies, stakeholders in the maritime industry, traditional leaders and traditional rulers present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here this morning for the flag off of the Lekki Deep Sea Port project. Now, this is a landmark project for several crucial reasons. And the first is that the promoters of this project are targeting, we're told, about 1.5 million 20-foot equivalent units container capacity annually, which they expect to grow to about 2.7 million and 4.7 million TEUs when the project operations commence. With this fit, the Lekki Deep Sea Port will become one of the largest deep water ports in our region and serve as a hub for port operations in the whole of West Africa. There's no question at all that the project will be uh, the, the sort of project that the promoters have said that it will be. And we are told that it will be the largest in Sub-Saharan Africa. And with, the, with, with all of the plans that they have for developing it, we, we expect that it would possibly be the largest in Africa. It's expected that the project construction, once completed, will influence the generation of up to 170,000 direct and indirect jobs in the economy. The promoters, I'm told, also plan to dredge the port channel to about 16 meters draft, which is not currently obtainable in any seaport or any port for that matter in the country. This in itself is an indication that ships of larger sizes, we have been told that Panamax and post-Panamax ships and uh, crude carriers, very large crude carriers, will now be able to visit the port. And greater e efficiency and economies of scale will generate significant revenues for the Nigerian economy. 
with government earning a significant portion of it. The second reason why this for us is a landmark event is with respect to our economic recovery and growth plan and its emphasis on supporting game-changing infrastructure projects directed at making major impact on trade and commerce. In the past two budgets, we have provided an aggregate of about 90 billion naira for the development of special economic zones. We are developing the Lekki Special Economic Zone as a model special economic zone specifically targeting exports. The development of this deep sea port is mission critical to the achievement of the important objective of creating this special economic zone. So the third reason is the commitment of our economic philosophy to private sector leadership of our economic development efforts. This project is essentially private sector driven. The Tolerum Group and China Harbor are, of course, the lead private sector uh, participants in this project. And as you've heard, you know, their commitment to this project is, 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 is total. And we've also seen the very, there's the, the so many different, uh, the checkered history, if you like, of this project. But they've, been, they've driven it to this point with great fortitude, with great tenacity. And I must commend them and congratulate them for bringing the project this far. The, the Nigerian Ports Authority and the Lagos State Government are the public sector partners. The business of government is, in our view, to contribute by way of equity where necessary to projects of this size, but more importantly, to create the enabling environment for the private sector to do business. While we commend all the parties to this landmark project, and I want to mention also in particular the Honorable Minister of Transport, whose uh, zeal has continued to drive this project. He mentions the project in cabinet. He mentions it everywhere. You would have thought that he is not only from this, you would have thought it's perhaps even from this state, the way that he keeps pushing this particular project. So I want to commend him for the very, for, for the way that he is focused on this project. Let me say that we must move ahead to ensure the speedy completion of this project. There will be problems, as I'm sure you have experienced some, but be assured that the federal government and the Lagos state government will be with you every step of the way to ensure that we give all the support that is required. So let me therefore on this note, before we get to the cutting of ribbons uh, out uh, by the port, uh, by the uh, side of the port itself, once again congratulate everyone who has been involved in this very crucial project. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, and permit me to announce that the flag of ceremony is taking place by the ocean. It is only those guests that are in the roped off area that will go through the door to my right to attend that flag of ceremony physically. It will be televised for you all to see in this room, and afterwards there will be refreshments in the other room. The the facilities, the restrooms are at the back of this hall, but I would like you all please to remain in this room until the departure of those who are going to the flag off ceremony and the rear door will be closed. Thank you very much for your patience, Your Excellency Sir. fact that the flag of ceremony will conclude the event and not in this room, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem.
you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Channel's television's live coverage of the commissioning of the Lekki Deep Seaport in Lagos. We now break away from that event to join President Muhammadu Buhari as he commissions the Keja bus terminal also in Lagos.